Story time, story time, it's my favorite time, spending time reading with you. Welcome to another story time with Gam Gam. Let's see what we have for today. Welcome back to story time with Gam Gam. Our story today is Anxious Charlie to the Rescue. This story was written by Terry Milne. This is a story about a small dog facing a big challenge with a solution as light as a feather. The story was written for Ella and Ayana with special thanks to Amelia and Penny. Anxious Charlie to the rescue. Change is a difficult thing, Charlie. This was written by Terry Milne. Every morning, Charlie hops out of bed. One, two, three, hop like a flea. He balances his toast. Four, five, six, Charlie likes his tricks. And he waters his plants. Seven, eight, nine, all in a line. Every day, Charlie walks once around the fire hydrant on his way to the market. And he always walks in the same side of the old oak tree. Charlie did everything the same every day. He was, he was afraid something would happen, something bad would happen if he didn't. At bedtime, Charlie checked under the bed. Bow, wow! And behind the curtains. And he arranged his toys in a neat row. All into bed, rabbit, panda, teddy, to keep us lucky, Do dog, dolly, and ducky. When he would finally lie down, Charlie always had the same thought. I remembered everything today and everything turned out okay. Early one morning, the phone rang. Ring, ring. Charlie leaped out of bed and ran to pick it up. He was in such a rush, he forgot to hop. Quack, quack, quack. It was duck. Their friend Hans was stuck. I'll be right there, said Charlie. Four, five, six, I must do my tricks. Oops. Seven, eight, nine, it's going to be fine. Quack, quack. Duck and Charlie rushed past the fire hydrant and went the wrong way around the old oak tree. Charlie wanted to start all over again, but his friend needed him. We were playing hide and seek, said Big Bruce, but Hans got stuck. We tried everything we could think of to free him. Or we have tried to pull, to roll Hans out of the pipe. Ow! They had tried to push him through the pipe. Youch! They had tried to pull him out of the pipe. But nothing worked, said Bruce, so he called you. Woof, woof! Charlie looked into the dark pipe, and then he had an idea. Charlie tickled Hans' nose. Charlie tickled, and Hans giggled. Tee hee! Ha 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 ha! Ho ho! Tee hee! Hans wiggled and wriggled and jiggled and giggled until. Pop! Thanks, Charlie, said Hans. You're a star! Quack, 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 agreed Duck. Cat said, Let's play Simon Says. Yeah, replied the others, and they played all afternoon. On his way home, Charlie felt so happy that he didn't think about which way he passed the old oak tree. His friends are all watching. He flopped into bed with a new thought in his head. I forgot everything today, but everything turned out okay. The next morning, Charlie hopped out of bed. One, two, three, hopped like a flea. He balanced his toast. Four, five, six, Charlie likes his tricks. He watered his plants, seven, eight, nine, all in a line. On his way to market, he went once around the fire hydrant, then he skipped in any old way past the old oak tree. Charlie knew that nothing bad would happen, and maybe what did happen would be wonderful. Oh, look at that. They look like they're going to have fun at the beach. And that is the end of our story. I hope you liked that. And I hope that it helped you 
in case you have issues with being anxious. Sometimes doing things different is not bad at all. You have a great day. I love you.